Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with an aggressive parrot or a new parrot that's not really tame. And he's a good example because I'm actually training him for someone else. And the reason for that is he was passed down by several owners and that's because he's way too aggressive. And the problem is, and from what I got from the last few people, is that he just likes to attack people at random and likes to attack their face their arm and then when he attacks he actually does a full-blown attack it isn't just a bite you know he'll latch on and everything else even if they don't show no sign of regression he'll still go ahead and attack them just out of the blue now I kind of worked that issue out with him already because I actually been working with him a few days before taking him home for the rest of the training just to get him kind of get rid of the cage aggression and stuff like that because that's the problem he had cage aggression because he was always cage bound before so that was the main reason why he was just attacking people randomly and I sort of brought, broke that out of him and now I can get him to step up my arm and everything else and stuff like that but he's still aggressive bird no matter what and it's going to take time to work out his behavior issues and stuff like that and for those that even comment and say are you going to keep those dial perches in this cage no it's just temporary I threw it together because I wanted to get them in the cage and throw that in there. I got actually some natural wood perches like I do with these guys here with Baby and Cooper over here and I always actually throw in better perches for now. I just do this to get it's only temporary. I will put in natural wood perches because dowel perches unfortunately is bad for their feet in time they sit on it long enough because it actually can cause bumble feet or sores on their feet because it's, it's too smooth of a surface for them. They need something a little bit more rougher. But, I'm going to go ahead and show you in this video on how to handle a bird that doesn't want to be handled. Let's put it like that way. And usually what I do is, if you try first already taking a treat, he won't come to you. He tries to snap at you. You tried sitting in front of the cage. That's the first thing you want to do is sit him in front of his cage and let him see you enough so he gets used to your presence. Then open the door of the cage like I did now. Let him come out of his cage and let him explore and stuff like that so he gets used to his environment and stuff and then see if he'll step up to you. Now if he doesn't still tries to attack you sometimes you gotta go and use what we call the stick method. And the stick method is pretty much a perch and let's go ahead and just grab this here and this is just a regular perch and what I'll do is I'll get him to step up onto this because if you're too scared that he might bite you, attack you, get a long enough stick where he can't just run up it and attack you and then get him to step up on this. So here we're going to go and try it. And peekaboo, step up. Good bird. And what you would do at this point is you actually reward him for stepping up so he knows that, okay, he did a good thing. And then you can go ahead here, go ahead, step up. And have him step up a few times till he gets to know how to step up. And after a few times of doing that, he's going to learn how to step up. Okay, now if you want him to step up on your arm, just tell him to step up. And he'll step up on your arm. Now we're going to go ahead and put him over in his other cage. So we're going to walk over. And we're going to walk around with him so he gets used to being walked around. And then tell him to step up again and he should step up. You want to repeatedly do this so he knows the command stepped up and some of the things with smaller birds I'll do is I'll just take one arm in front of another and I'll repeatedly repeat the command step up and then I'll give him a treat after he steps up. Now I already kind of been working with him and I broke most of his aggression habits and stuff like that. He's still a little bit aggressive but he is getting much better now and that's because I'm kind of bonding with him and you know what he'll do is he'll do his bonding car. And I'll pet him, and he actually likes this as a treat sometimes, too. He just likes to be petted and cuddled. He's actually a very good bird when you get past his aggression issues and stuff like that. And what it is is the reason why he was literally one of the most aggressive birds before that, and he would just attack people, and I mean literally viciously attack people, was because they had him cage-bound. They didn't pay no attention to him. Even the last owner admit that she ended up having kids and stuff like that and didn't give him enough attention. He just started attacking her and her kids and stuff and that's why she got rid of him. So it took me some time to get him out of that. It took me petting him, letting him see me and stuff like that. Then I had him step up on the stick and then on my arm eventually. To the point where now I can have him on my shoulder and stuff like that and he's usually okay. Of course, I do it at discretion. Shoulder is a privilege. It's not... 
something that you just give them automatically. They have to earn that right. He has to learn how to step down to get that privilege. So if he doesn't step down, then you go ahead and put him down and eventually teach him that he's only going to go on shoulder if he steps down and listens. And then you can allow the bird on your shoulder and so forth. But right now I'm just working with his aggression issue, trying to cut his biting habit and stuff like that. And this is only like been about two days since I'm having you and I already made a lot of progress with him so far from being one of the most aggressive birds that no one could handle to the point now he's actually a pretty good bird and I even took him a shower and everything the other day because he was actually caked down dust they never actually took him a shower and stuff like that because they were too afraid to I mean he literally was a hard bird to deal with now I don't blame him because one of the ladies actually got a lit cut open and stuff like that but his name is Frankie I call him peekaboo because he'll say peekaboo and peekaboo go ahead say peekaboo peekaboo well he's not saying it now but normally he'll say peekaboo and he even plays peekaboo too if you actually put him behind something he'll hide behind that item and then he'll go out and say peekaboo it's actually kind of funny but He's a really good bird. Hopefully he'll come along and now I'll teach the other people on how not to be as scared of him and handle him. It's going to take some time to break all his behavior issues out and I'm going to have to work them out slowly but he is coming along and is a very smart bird so in no time he'll be able to be socialized and stuff like that to other people and hopefully he'll do actually very well.